Hey guys, it's Tech Racer and today we are going to review the Lenovo IdeaPad 510. Now, now I have already posted the unboxing video of this laptop and it will be in the i button at the top right corner. So you can go and watch it out from there. So let's get started with the review. Now before starting the review, I would like to tell the availability of the laptop. So the laptop is available uh, for about 55,000 to 58,000 on all the online stores as well as the offline stores so the link for the online store will be in the description as well so let's take a look at the specifications first so the laptop comes with an intel core i5 7200u cpu which is the 7th gen kb lake processor now it it has a base clock of 2.5 gigahertz and it can turbo boost up to 3.1 gigahertz so that's really very good thing it is a dual core processor but the hyper threading is enabled so it acts like a quad core cpu now along that we get a 8GB of DDR4 memory which is clocked at 2133MHz and you get a capability to expand it up to 16GB. So again that's a very good thing. Now it comes with a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce 940MX graphics card which is a 4GB DDR3 graphics card. So again a very good thing uh, at this price point. And then we have a standard 1TB 5400 RPM uh, Western Digital uh, internal hard drive. You can just swap it out and put in an SSD the, so that you will get a better performance boost. Now the best thing about this laptop that made me to go with this one is its display. It's just awesome. So it has a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080p full HD IPS display. Uh, uh, because of its IPS panel uh, you get a very good uh, colors a very good contrast ratio as compared to the displays of other laptop so the best thing about this laptop is its performance since we get a latest CPU as well as 8 gigabytes of RAM you can also expand it up to 16 gigabytes uh, then we have 1 terabyte 5100 RPM hard drive uh, so yes uh, even though having such a slow hard drive it performs very good due to, uh, due to that 8 gigabytes of fast memory which is working in a dual channel mode so uh, very fast performance uh, you can just uh, uh, do some editing stuff even uh, all the videos which are posted after the unboxing video of this laptop are edited are edited on the same laptop as well so you get a very good performance for editing as well as graphics rendering i have personally used it so uh, i'm i am i'm personally using it for my video editing stuff as well as the graphics uh, related work then second we have a very good build quality so it has one of the uh, best build quality you can get at this price point it has very less keyboard flex or you can say almost negligible keyboard flex uh, almost negligible screen flex and even the body does not make any crinking noise when you, whenever you put on a hard pressure on it then since it has a nvidia 940mx uh, gpu which is a 4gb of ddr3 graphics card uh, it can handle all the games uh, at pretty much uh, good FPS so you can easily play all the games uh, you throw on it but don't expect a very good such as 1080p uh, uh, gaming at about 50 or 60 frames per second you, it can easily touch it for 25 frames per second uh, I have already posted a video on GTA 5 on this particular laptop uh, so you can check it out in the i button at the top right corner then the display uh, so the 15.6 inch full hd display is just really awesome and i am just in love with that display and that display made me to go with this laptop uh, and it's just really awesome it has an anti glare coating so you do not get any reflections on the screen so again that is a very a really very a very good thing now let's talk about some of the cons as we have pros so yes we have cons but the cons are very low as compared to the pros uh, so in my two weeks of uh, actual uh, usage I came up with these three major cons that I faced with this laptop the first major con is its trackpad so the trackpad is uh, not uh, a, a, as good as my liking so the trackpad on this laptop is a bit rough so you might have some issues while uh, using it uh, using your fingers and there might be some problems while we use the windows 10 gestures so it that does not work sometime and that just and it is just irritated uh, and it's just irritating because yes you can uh, pl uh, plug in an external mouse but then what's the use of that particular touchpad so the touchpad is not that great yeah it works 60 percent of the time but 40 percent of the time it just not it just does not register the gestures or even it doesn't or even it does not register the tab that you uh, put it on the trackpad the second um, con that I faced with this laptop is the current leaking issue and many of the guys were, were asking me about that in the comments below and yes there is a minor leaking problem near the keyboard area uh, 
and uh, it can be uh, yeah it could not be a deal breaker as it can be easily uh, managed by just keeping your palm on the palm rest of the laptop so it can be easily eliminated then the third issue that i found with this laptop is its microphone so it has a very uh, average microphone so as i am doing a video production work, so the sound recording is a essential part and the first time when i tried to record using the internal microphone of the laptop it gave me a very muffled sound then there, there was no background uh, cancellation so there was uh, so there were so many issues with the sound recording so i have to go with an external mic for recording the audio so that was a uh, bad point so that was a disappointment for me but those who but yeah it does capture the uh, voice commands easily so you do not have any issues with the voice commands that you give uh, to the laptop so guys now it comes to the conclusion part so should you guys get this laptop or not so guys it purely depends upon your needs so in my case i need a laptop with a good performance uh, and a very good uh, display and build quality so i definitely went with this one and if your uh, requirements are the same then definitely go with this one you will not regret buying this laptop but if you can compromise on build quality as well as display then there will be some other uh, options that i will definitely put in the description of this video so you can go and check it out check them out also so guys this is it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such video and videos on this particular laptop will be shown up on the screen right now so you can go and watch them also so thank you guys thanks for watching